You should have left me, Anathema. You are my daughter. This is where you belong. what they did to me there. You needed discipline. You had to learn to control your power. <laughs> the bond between us is growing stronger. You are glimpsing my memories. Valen mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world, where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind, and teach her obedience. That's where you taught her to kneel before the Dragon of Zakul. She left me no choice. Unchecked. Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. If she was such a threat, you should have just killed her. She was still my daughter. In her, I saw aspects of myself. I hoped she could become worthy of the throne. She failed me. Instead of focusing on the mistakes of my past, you should ask what this vision means for our future. Are you saying Valen went back to Nathema? She would only return if she had found a way to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galacta Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We traced the origin to that sector. The message was important enough for Valen to drop everything and go. I've heard stories of Nathema. Legend holds that the Force itself has been corrupted there. In times like these, I'm glad I'm not Force-sensitive. Do not take this lightly. If those stories are true, the entire planet will feel the effects. Noted. But we're still going. Roger that, Commander. I'll prep the shuttle. Meet me there when you're ready. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. Valen survived here when she was only a child. You can handle a little uneasiness. Ignoring what we feel would be a mistake. It will only grow stronger as we approach the surface. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the void. Taking us down.
Greetings, Empress. It has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? Wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need me. Here, the void, its hunger. It wants to devour me, mind and spirit, annihilate every trace of my existence. I'm not getting scared off by a bad feeling. Of course. We've come too far to give up now. The void's draw is powerful, but it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. Why did your beast attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorion! You told me you'd made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. Valkorion has given me free reign over his child. Death is the only line I am forbidden to cross. Fortunately, he has provided numerous subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Phelan, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. The methods they used to control her were harsh, but they worked. Interesting. They wanted to curb her power without creating an aversion to horrific violence.
I made Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken corpse from every failed experiment. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Valen killed another Keeper today. She must learn that defiance has consequences. Isolation, fear, pain. Sometimes the simplest tools are the most effective. Conventional methods only go so far, but the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. I thought Valen would scream or cry, maybe even beg for mercy, but when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. Sith. Jedi. They must have died in agony. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. She's using the same methods you used on her. I tried to contain her destructive power. She seeks to unleash it, which cause serves the greater good. If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin. to the shores of Ord Mantel. She eliminated her mother's knights, but let Senya live. Is this a sign of familial love? Or a predator toying with her prey? Only time will tell. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. 
I am Jerick, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. At least you understand your purpose. Despite my loyalty to those I serve, my research sometimes has unfortunate side effects. Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. We can survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. You work for Valen. Why would you help us? Mutual survival. Valen's power has driven the beasts and keepers mad. Protect me from them, and I will guide you to shelter. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. <laughs> What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. You're not my guardian. Just a voice in my head that won't leave me alone. I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkurian? Ever since we arrived, he's been acting strangely. The Void could be affecting him. Or there could be more to Nathema than he's told us. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. I knew trusting you was a mistake. Now we're stuck inside an impregnable vault. Would you rather be ripped apart by the energy blasts outside? Besides, there is a way out. The vault has a backup generator, if you can reach it. Valkorion sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? <laughs> Thank you.
again. No. I sense his presence, but it is faint, distant. You are not Tenebrae. Are you talking about Valkorion? Valkorion, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Emperor of the Sith. My low-born son has worn many masks. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madryas. I never thought of Valkorion as having a father. One of many offspring I sired. He was the least of my children. His mother, a nameless peasant. But he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madryas into this. If you were a better father, things could have turned out differently. Do not lay his crimes at my feet. He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. He did something similar on Zyost. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. Why didn't he consume your spirit? For a thousand years he has taunted and tortured me. But now, salvation is at hand. This Holocron has the power to destroy what remains of my essence. Grant me the release of Oblivion. You'd better be offering something worth the trouble. I know Tenebrae's weakness. This Holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. Every time Valkorion gets taken down, he pops up again in some other form. He is immortal, but not invulnerable. This holocron is the instrument of his destruction. There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, release me from my prison. Keep the holocron close and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Lana's right. We need every available weapon to defeat Valkorion, including you. Oh, release me, I beg of you. That explains Valkorion's behavior. He didn't want you snooping around in his vault. Hold on to the holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. <laughs> I have never seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of 
your former prison. ships to leave orbit. Soon, there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. You need to hold jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. She will be stronger than ever. I can still blast her into oblivion. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Nothing important. Good. The relics sealed inside are far too dangerous to be released upon the galaxy. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? That's why we need to strike now. As soon as we reach Odessa, we launch a counterattack. I was hoping for a bit of R&R &R after this mission, but you're the one calling the shots. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. 